Coloring a VS Code instance is quite easy. You can do that manually from the settings, you can use Peacock to use whatever color you want, but today my need was slightly different. I wanted different colors for files coming from different folders. Ta-da! I found an extension doing exactly that. But let me talk about Peacock first because I think it's a more common use case and then we go to the other extension. The first common is indeed the Peacock Random Color, which lets you well, pick a random color. This entirely makes sense in case you often work with multiple projects and you want to immediately know at which project are you looking at. But you can obviously do way more customization since all the colors are actually written here in the VS Code settings.json file. For example, you can decide a color from the enter a column option and here you can add everything in RGB hex format but you can also, for example, say light blue and everything that is valid CSS color will get accepted. You can find here the peacock color you inserted and here all the customization needed for VS Code to work. You can also have some favorite colors just in case you have similar projects and you want to group them together. This by default suggests colors depending on the front end framework, for example, view green, angular red, but just in case you want to add extra favorite, you can obviously do so in the user settings. Here you will find all the peacock default color. And for example, if you want to add a new one, so Copilot is suggesting web blue. Now, if I press F1 and I go on favorite color, web blue is indeed in the list. And now let's go back to the first extension that is folder path color. This is the extension allowing me to have different colors on files depending on the folder they're in. And this is obviously defined once again in settings.json in the VS Code folder. Here I say that in the path host, that is this one, I also wanted to add a symbol, this letter H, you can find it here on the main bar, and also the host tooltip. You can find it here. The symbol comes in quite handy because if you change something here and you go on the Git tab, here the extension cannot color the files, but at least you have this letter H indicating that this comes from the host. If I change something on another file, you can find here sure enough that it says 01 because 01 is again the symbol I decided to match with everything coming from the path up 01. Here you can also see that I can decide the color. In this case, I say that I wanted the blue color for up 01, but you can actually pick between more colors. For example, you can specify that you want to red or maybe let's get back to blue. However, there's a limitation here and if you go on the extension Redmi, you can find that there are only blue, magenta, red, cyan, green, and yellow, but you can indeed have six more custom colors. These are the defaults. So if here we write custom one, it is this light blue. But if you paste some code here, you can find that you can basically customize the custom colors with whatever color you want. Let's hit save and yep. This looks like it's definitely working fine. Anyway, let me put blue because I wanted this color. And that was it for today. We saw how you can get colors with Peacock in order to distinguish between different VS Code instances. And also, if you want to color the single files with the folder path color extension, you can do that. If you found this video helpful, hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. And well, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.